and cut. Hey, it's Paul from CP Attic Complete Performance and now hand-picked trucks. Chris, same thing, you know, whatever. You know me. Like I said last time, we hate money. <laughs> Believe it or not, we were kind of sitting around one night at the shop, just kind of uh, drinking a couple beers, talking about how cool it would be to own it, that it works so well with CP Addict, and we just decided to say, heck, let's call them. Well, I guess long, long and short of it is too is is everybody that I say everybody, a lot of people that have been in like the OBS market or stuff for for a long time or in any length of time has seen them and saw their clean trucks and kind of set their truck precedent by what they wanted their truck to look like by what trucks were sold there. I know I spent hours and hours upon hours and hours drooling over those trucks in, in you my still mind. Do. Well, I mean, I still do. <laughs> I, but it's I even probably, worse now that we got all the images. <laughs> I don't want to go back and buy some of the ones I've already sold. But um, I probably bought a hundred trucks of theirs in my mind over the over the course of years. I spent I spent years in in high school, you know, searching the searching their site and stuff, and looking at all their their imagery and stuff. So it just kind of one of those pipe dreams that became a reality. I guess you could say. It was. It's kind of a, a, a crazy turn of events because when we called them, they they weren't real apt to sell it to anybody. They didn't, they they'd kind of had a few offers here and there about selling the business, and he's just kind of a he's one of those kind of guys that that didn't want his name ruined. He did, he didn't want somebody to uh, to get a hold of it that was going to just run it into the ground. Yeah, sell just anything too. You know, he was very meticulous about what he sold. Obviously, that was the reason why we wanted it. The reason why everybody went to their website and just like looked at all their trucks all the time because it was just, you know, they if, were fantastic. If if the seats had a burn hole in them, he replaced the fabric on the seats. If uh, the tires had less than sixty percent tread on them, he put new tires on the truck. I mean, it was just ridiculous stuff you'd never think of that got changed, got changed. If the AC vents were a little bit discolored, where they turned that white color, he'd take the AC vents out and replace them with new black AC vents in the truck. I mean, so. buying a truck from them was may, might as well you've been buying it off the showroom lot, mm -hmm. like branded trucks. So, and that's what we're gonna we're we're hoping to be able to hold up to that same kind of standard too. When we once we finally get everything in line and get trucks actually on the lot for sale, we're going to hold to that same kind of standard as far as we want our trucks to be just absolutely perfect. Well, it it fits with what we're already doing as far as as that goes anyway because. We build quality products or, or find somebody to manufacture quality products rather than just buying something that's crap and putting it out there on the market for somebody's truck because you don't want to get to working on something and, and the part doesn't fit exactly right or it's a little bit off here, a little bit off there or, or you, you paid your hard earned money and six months later it's broke. You want something that's quality. Same thing with the trucks. You know, We can offer quality trucks to people that are looking for their next vehicle or their next project or I've always wanted a super clean truck and now here's my chance to and then it also gives us an opportunity to save some of these trucks before they don't you lie to these nice people we're just trying to feed our own addiction well, <laughs> I mean you know I buy this one for me this one's for sale buy this one for me this one's for sale but <laughs> two for me one for you two for me one for you <laughs> but uh we talked about in the last video how how many dang trucks you buy. <laughs> I bought another one the other day. <laughs> Seth's even driving his stuff to work now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Seth's over there not going to say anything. He's going to edit out whatever he said anyway. There's Seth right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're uh, we're we're actively working on trying to get get handpicked trucks off the ground and get things started. Um, we've had quite a few people send us trucks for sale. Um, anytime you see a clean truck that you think we might be uh, we we might be interested in, definitely send it to us. Uh, if it's through an email, if it's through 
uh, one of our Instagram pages. Uh, however, uh, we're definitely we're definitely interested in looking at, at all trucks that are for sale, any older F series stuff. Unlike what handpicked trucks did, we're we're going to focus strictly on the uh, older F series stuff. The 1980 through 97 model series. We uh, we won't be we won't be selling uh, that we know of at this point any any common stuff, any Duramax stuff, anything like that. Um, Going to stick to our OBS roots for all of you guys that are diehards and are fans like us. So that's kind of what we're going to go for. Yeah, absolutely. So we're uh, we're going to be on the lookout for clean trucks. We're also going to be you know starting to sell some nice clean trucks. So those guys of you that you know are in the north or are having hard to hard to find trucks, we're we're going to be having those and, and getting them out there. Part of getting this this deal was was pretty neat. We we got a 20 year backlog of a of a company that you know has had a great track record of, of sales and and vehicle quality that they've put out there along with the knowledge base from them they've they're actually going to be consulting with us on how to how to make sure that the trucks are properly done and and i mean they've just they've been really great people to to deal with and it's it's, I mean, you, it's can a ask for, you can ask for any better people. Yeah, I mean, it's a pleasure doing business with them. I mean, they, they opened up their home and their, their business to us and let us spend three days there packing up the last 20 years of their lives into a 26-foot Penske truck and then driving it halfway across the country back home. So, Which we did in yeah. one stop. Yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't smart. I mean, with, with, <laughs> I mean like, like with Nick and Tim coming to help us out, I mean, that, that was a great... That, that, I mean that again. The OBS community, Tim and Tim and Nick came out to to help, and, and I don't think we could have done it without them. No, nah, I really we don't. Never, we never would have been able to do it in the amount of time we we could have done it, but we couldn't have done it in the time we did it. In. Yeah, absolutely. They they were absolutely lifesavers when it when it come down to that. But that shows the how well the community is to to deal with as far as you know the the OBS truck market and all that, and how tight knit everybody is. But uh, yeah, halfway across the country and some guys that are in the OBS scene, I guess you could say, coming yeah. over to help us. Showing up on their Sunday off to come help us lug stuff up a hill from storage sheds and pack it into I a truck. They put the sheds down there on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> they knew we were fat and needed to lose weight. <laughs> I got these awesome calf muscles now, though. That's for a later video. <laughs> On a different well, I'm channel. Not be in. <laughs> I'm not. You're gonna have to video that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so hopefully, in by the first of the year, we'll have the handpicked trucks uh, website up and going. Uh, you can actually look right now at some of the stuff that they've got for that they had for sale. That is kind of the quality that we're going for. Um, we're, we're constantly updating the site and everything too, trying to get it into spec of where we want it. Um, we're uh, we're going to also update some of the older OBS trucks that they sold, so there'll be some new content showing up on there if you wanted to go in and check that out. But we're, we're going to we're going to keep the feel of the site the same way that they had it. We're not going to modernize the site and completely change it. It's going to be just like the way it was when you saw it back when, with just a few minor touches to make it more convenient for the times. But we don't want to change much of it because that's, I mean, that was the whole, there's a whole backstory behind it. I mean, we could have started a, our own deal here, but why when you've got such a awesome platform to build off of? So it's kind of where we're at with that. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to change the whole aspect of the business. That's what everybody liked about it. It's what we liked about it. I mean, so. that's why we decided we was going to call them out of the blue and ask them to sell it. And when they thought we were crazy, I think. And then we drove up there to visit them on a random day in May. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're here. Yeah, we, we moved it all from Virginia to Texas, so everything will be here in the state of Texas. Um, we haven't decided quite what we're going to do as far as storefront and all that goes yet. There's some rules and things that, that we're working out with you know, the state of Texas to figure out what we need and what we have to physically have to be a, a legit dealership in the state of Texas. So that's that's another hoop that we're jumping through right now. So Yeah, we're not gonna launch until uh until it's it's ready and we're we're not gonna try to do anything halfway. 
needs to be right if we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so him fixing all the trucks, he would buy parts that were hard to get. And, and like if a, a dealership was, his local dealership, I guess I should say, would call him and say, hey, there's only three of these left in the country, whether he had the truck on the lot or not he would buy all three of them left in the country because he knew at one point in time he would need them. So we actually got five storage sheds worth of crazy rare stuff for OBS trucks. In fact, hang on a second, I'll go get some. It, it kind of worked out in our favor, maybe not necessarily in his once he closed it because, you know, obviously he didn't, he didn't end up using it all. But since we, since we have CP Addict and it's based around OBS trucks, we got a whole 26 foot Penske truck full of super rare OBS parts like brand new mirrors, brand new two post mirrors, uh, uh, brand new F350 XLT badges, brand new F250 XLT badges, um, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, rolls of seat bluer when he would, when he'd get a truck in that had cigarette burns in the seats or whatever, you know, who knows, he would, um, uh, he would reupholster the seats with, with brand new Ford OE seat material check that out so that they were a hundred percent factory um, we got brand new wheel well trim still in the Ford wrappers uh, I, crap, you haven't been able to get that stuff for years so it's we were I don't know almost just excited just as excited about the the crazy cool parts as we were about the actual getting the company and actually being able to to Keep that going as well. Again, two for me, one for you. Two for me, one for you. So we're, uh... So what are you going to do with 500 emblems for yourself? Probably, like, pour them on myself and, like, look out like I'm swimming in them. I don't know. I don't care. I have them, so... <laughs> I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be there. Um, so we'll actually be taking a, a, an inventory on all of these parts, all of this stuff. We will probably keep the seat material for ourselves. That ain't going nowhere. It's just too hard to find. But mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of these parts that uh, that we've got a lot of, we'll be inventorying, and then we will be actually uh, loading them to the the website cpaddict.com and selling them. Um, so you'll actually have the opportunity to be able to buy some of these super rare parts. Yeah, we'll have a uh, Seth is going to create an NOS section on the website and start adding those parts to that section. So be always on the lookout on the site because it may be a random Tuesday that we start uploading, you know, some parts and it and you don't want to miss out on something that's hard to get. So and some of the stuff we've got ten or fifteen of, some of the stuff we got two or three of. So everything will be limited to quantity of what we have and uh and you know it'll be kind of first come, first serve. Whoever gets there first will be the ones that buys. Uh, crap, I, I think we got, what, 20 dash pads or something like that in yeah. this whole deal? Seth, look over there and show them the dash pads. So, I mean, you see those, that's just a little sample of all those box. The box that they're all on is a box of hubcaps for dually trucks and single wheel trucks. So, yeah, they're all, the box, they're all still in the box and everything. So, uh, Actually, this, the boxes behind that are uh, brand new steering OE wheels. steering wheels still in the box. So it's crazy. It's, it's just something that you don't you don't necessarily come by every day, um, but like a bunch of giggly little schoolgirls going through all that stuff. Um, but yeah, check out. Uh, look look for a new web page for handpick trucks on Facebook, uh, handpick Instagram, and the handpick trucks website. And as always, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Perfect.